What's up guys? In this video I'm going to teach you how to do close-up macro photography and videography using a Canon PowerShot digital camera. So in my shot right now I have a tiny jumping spider eating a small cricket. So to get shots like this it's actually very simple. The only hard part is stabilizing and getting your shots set up. So to do that we're using a tripod and we're using to get our macro shot a clip-on macro lens. So with our digital camera as you can see when I zoom out I'm about six plus inches away from my from my target and I'm using this clip-on lens that simply attaches to the front of the camera and this is the Raynox DCR 150 a lens made in Japan that you can get for about fifty dollars online and it just clips onto the front of your lens that's attached to your digital camera and all you have to do is zoom in from about six inches away to about as far as you want to get and then from here you can adjust your manual focus and just clean up the shot hold down the shutter button wait for the right shot and that's it and we got a nice close-up macro photo so what I would recommend with insects and really close-up macro photography like this is that you take a photo of the target facing it so facing its face so let me actually show you here's a strange looking fly so let's get a photo of this guy in super macro so we're gonna get in really close on its face and then we're gonna adjust our focus And that's a pretty nice shot so let's go back to our spider here so he turned around so this is what I'm talking about when I mean facing you so his face is pointed in the direction of your camera so let's zoom in and this way you can get in really close and his entire body will fit into the shot and you'll get a nice angle so let's focus in on his eyes get the cricket in the shot perfect so that's that was a really good shot so this is 35 this is full zoom on this digital camera however I have the Canon PowerShot SX 60 HS and with that one you can go 65 times zoom so you can go almost double this so you can also do a digital zoom so you can go in really close digitally However, your quality is going to lack, but you can still get photos. So that's a pretty nice shot right there. I like that actually. And here's a good angle. So this is 54 times zoom. So if you get the PowerShot SX60HS, you'll be able to go this far and still be in optical zoom, meaning you'll have full quality HD 1080p 60fps quality. And that's pretty much all there is to this photography. And all you really need is a nice set of wilderness. And you should be able to find insects and take pictures of many different things that you probably have never even seen before. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions and I'll do my best to answer so I got really lucky so this is this was a really cool photo a nice contrast on a colorful jumping spider and like a neon green cricket here or grasshopper I'm not really sure what the difference is but there we go macro photography few advice and tips there drop a comment down below drop a like subscribe if you want for many other videos on macro photography and I hope you guys check this out it's a very relaxing hobby